Unit 1. Emergency Medicine Guidelines on Continuing Professional Development Reading 1. The vast majority of emergency medicine doctors, EM, practice continuing professional development, CPD. However, not all doctors keep a record. CPD has undergone a dramatic evolution and was initially formalized by an agreement in 1993 by the Conference of Medical Royal Colleges and Faculties. The first guidance for continuing medical education, CME, for the College of Emergency Medicine, was drawn up in November 1995. Since then, there have been many changes due to the introduction of appraisal and recommendations by the GMC, General Medical Council, and the guidelines were amended in January 1999 and January 2000. The most recent edition of the guidelines was written in September 2003. Vocabulary 1. Number 1. Words. Vest. Meaning. Very large. Number 2. Word. Majority. Meaning. The largest part of a group of people or things. Number 3. Word. Record. Meaning. Documentation. Number 4. Word. Undergone. Meaning. To experience. Number 5. Word. Dramatic. Meaning. Very great and often surprising. Number six, word evolution, meaning the gradual development of. Number seven, word initially, meaning at first in the beginning. Number eight, word formalized, meaning formal. Number nine, word agreement, meaning an agreement is a formal decision about future action, which is made by two countries, groups, or people. Number ten, word addition, meaning version. Number 11, word guidance, meaning help and advice. Number 12, word drawn up, meaning outline. Number 13, word due to, meaning because of, by reason of, as a result of. Number 14, word appraisal, meaning assessment, evaluation. Number 15, word recommendation, meaning an official suggestion about the best thing to do. Number 16, word amended, meaning to change a law, documentation, statement, slightly in order to correct a mistake or to improve it. Number 17, word recent, meaning latest. Number 18, word conference, meaning a large official meeting, usually lasting for a few days at which people with the same work or interests come together to discuss their views, a meeting at which people have formal discussion. Reading 2. Reading 2. Since appraisal has been instituted and revalidation is inevitable, despite the delay in the implementation, the documentation of proof of CPD has become more relevant. This revision of the college guidelines on CPD is based on a framework for continuing professional development, the Academy of Medical Royal Colleges, February 2002, guidelines on CPD faculty of accidents and emergency medicine, Henry Gooley, past director of CPD, 2003. The GMC Guidelines on CPD, April 2004. The GMC Document, Good Medical Practice, 2001. Vocabulary 2. Number 1. Word revalidation, meaning official approval or confirmation of a document. Number 2. Word inevitable, meaning unavoidable. Number 3. Word despite, meaning in spite of. Number 4. Word delay, meaning to make somebody late or to do something late. Number five, word implementation, meaning execution, carry out. Number six, word documentation, meaning the act of recording something in a document, the state of being recorded in a document. Number seven, word proof, meaning evidence that shows that something is true. Number eight, word relevant, meaning appropriate. Number nine, word revision, meaning Review modification. Number 10. Word framework, meaning the structure of a particular system. Principles underlying continuing professional development. Reading 3. Continuing professional development, CPD, is a continuing learning process that complements formal undergraduate and postgraduate education and training. CPD requires you to maintain and improve your standards across all areas of your practice. CPD also encourages and supports specific changes in your practice and career development. 
CPD is an obligatory requirement for all practicing emergency medicine physicians, and it is up to each doctor, you, to keep up to date. The GMC is set out in paragraph 10 of Good Medical Practice, September 2001. You must keep your knowledge and skills up to date throughout your working life. In particular, you should take part regularly in educational activities which maintain and further develop your competence and performance. However, CPD must be relevant to you and meet your needs to allow maintenance of a high quality of patient care. Continuing professional development should be reflective. Lifelong learning allowing you to develop within the specialty of emergency medicine and should also support you in developing outside or subspecialty interests. CPD Guidance, GMC, April 2004. Vocabulary 3. Number 1. Word Principles, Meaning Law. Number 2. Word Underlining, Meaning Basic, Core, Main. Number 3. Word Complements, Meaning a Thing That Adds. Number 4. Word Formal, Meaning Official. Number 5. Word Maintain, Meaning Keep Up. Number six, word encourage, meaning give confidence. Number seven, word specific, meaning particular. Number eight, word reflective, meaning thoughtful. Number nine, word obligatory, meaning compulsory. Number ten, word career, meaning job. Number eleven, word development, meaning improvement. Number twelve, word physicians, meaning general practitioner. Number 13, word set out, meaning to present ideas, facts, etc. Number 14, word competence, meaning ability to do something well. Number 15, word performance, meaning how well you do something. 